Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be showing you an interesting feature just introduced with the latest beta for Command Modern Operations. Now the first thing I want to say before I show this goofy feature off and you say, why did they do this? Uh, you'll appreciate it by the way. It's just to quickly point out the fact that as of this exact moment, uh, the only place you're going to get this beta is if you wander over to the Command Modern Operations forum and you track down our topic here. And again, they break down some of the cool different options, especially like the HTML stuff, the new restrictions on aircraft fuel loadouts and things like that. But the main feature I want to concentrate on today is the fact you can now show air units at their true altitude. Now you're sitting there going, what do you mean by that? Well, it's like this. If I move my mouse around right now, you'll notice my aircraft stay in the same point. Uh, the interesting thing, of course, is the ground is down here. My aircraft are actually above my ground. Wouldn't it be nice if we could actually see the relationship between the two? And the answer is yes, there is a way to do that now. So if you would actually go up to your game options now after installing this beta, of course, as you can tell from the upper point, if you go to map display, you'll see a thing that says draw units at true altitude. I'm gonna go ahead and click that button. Now, when I clicked on that, you said, hey, nothing really changed. I saw them move a little tiny bit, you know, if you zoom in here and I had to do the one of these, but if you look very, very, very closely, you will observe that behind each one of these aircraft are these little tiny lines. As a matter of fact, if I were to go like this and get myself another one of those F-16s, F-16 CMB, actually, let's get the Aurora. <laughs> let's get something that could really do this properly. There we go. <laughs> This will do my demonstration. You'll actually observe now, if you look very carefully, that that aircraft is now three-dimensionally placed. As I move my mouse around here, you can see I can see the relative position of that aircraft relative to everything underneath it just by moving it around like this. So no longer is it straight down, but it actually shows something that looks like this. And you get a great idea of how stupidly high this particular aircraft is capable of traveling. But I do one of those, I'll do max altitude just for demonstrations here. But again, uh, this one's only chilling at uh, 36,000 feet here. Let's go ahead and pop it up to its maximum altitude just to give you an idea of how incredibly absurd this new feature is. 90,000, enter, ha ha ha. Pause, oh, ah, typed it in wrong. Note to self, type in things correctly. <laughs> All right, remaining fuel, don't touch that. I meant to do uh, altitude. There we go, 90,000. Enter. Boop. There we go. Now look at this. He's so high. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Isn't that incredible? The fact that we have a little three-dimensionality. Um, I know what you're thinking, and of course, uh, I will demonstrate that in a moment as well. But uh, one of the cool things about this feature now is if I come down here and look at my little F-16s, these guys are traveling extraordinarily low. And you know, one of the cool things is it's actually based on ground level. So as I start scooting along these mountains, you can actually see the relationship between the F-16 and the ground as it's kind of ripping along right now. Now I have my one F-16 up here. You can see he's struggling to stay in a straight line there, but he's basically got nothing going on as far as altitude goes. And if we grab this one in the end, who's basically a thousand feet AGL, some of these mountains over here are 1500 feet. So if I were to move him like this, you can actually see very clearly how that relationship is actually going, just how close he is to basically smacking into the top. Of course, this guy's like, yo, <laughs> look at how high that is. My brain wants to rotate this map so hard right now to be able to like go all out. Now, the next thing we'll go ahead and take a look at, too, and I'll get well, while we're kind of getting ready to be, do some naughty things here, is you're wondering what happens if you have something that isn't an airplane? Perhaps um, you have an SSM and you'd very much like to test it out on a target. Well, this is where it gets fun. So I'm going to go ahead and press Shift F1 and go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and find a peacekeeper. Now, uh, you know my opinion on nuclear weapons, um, so I'm not going to allow the nuclear weapon to actually strike its target. But what I do want to observe here is if I zoom in on a, just a little bit here, we can actually press the T key, by the way, and that will auto lock your map onto this. And if I speed up time a little bit here, you can see it's starting to make a contrail, it's starting to make a contrail, and bam, we are out of the contrail land because we are 54 kilometers up. Now, this missile is high. And when I say high, I mean absurdly high. If I actually go like this, you can see we're 87 kilometers up. Now you're sitting here going, this doesn't feel like 87 kilometers. But remember, my camera altitude is 700 kilometers right now. So that missile is actually making the trajectory as if it was the real weapon. Now what's so cool here is if you do happen to have an attack view, and you open this sucker up, if I were to actually go find this missile and do one of these things, you can actually see that it's the same view side by side now as it kind of climbs. So if you want to look the side view as this thing basically is uh, scoot scooting up into the sky here. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at, look at this, look at this. When your pin cushion is up that, keep in mind we're 4,600 kilometers up here. 
Look at the altitude that that weapon travels to get to its target. Now, what I really, really love about this is the fact that you now can visualize just how ridiculous ballistic missiles really are in action. Now, we'll go ahead and pause that right there. I think I've kind of made my point, and we'll have a little bit of fun, of course. So under unit actions here, I'm going to add some satellites. <laughs> Let's go to the United States here, uh, U.S. Of course, I always get it wrong. I have a pretty much 99% chance of getting it wrong the first time. Uh, DSP, those are all the old ones. The Foo Fighter, that's a little bit older. Where's Lacrosse? That's ancient. Oh, it's because I never got to we'll add that one. All right, so don't this esta, esta aquí. No, esta allí. There it is. Bam. So you can see here that I'm um, looking at USA uh, 69 here, basically chilling there. Uh, you can see it's uh, pretty high. It's uh, Let me unpause for a second here. There we go. It's also moving quick. There we go. There we go. You can see it's 676 kilometers up, and you can see how stupid high that thing is now. But of course, uh, when we come and swing around, you can see very clearly. Watch this, watch this. If we go to the side of the planet, you can see how high my uh, peacekeeper is. If we go like this, look at this. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to pull it. Yeah, I will. There you go. See the difference? <laughs> Isn't that insane? Just giving you an idea of the differences. And it finally kind of brings in a three-dimensionality to command that we did not have in the past. Now, there's one other thing I wanted to throw out real quick uh, before we go ahead and break this video here. I love that. <laughs> this is so absurd. Is the fact that um, when you go into your database now, one of the things they added is the updated HTML. And the reason that's so good is uh, when you open things, you'll notice everything's nice and speedy and crisp. But more importantly, because they implemented the new HTML, you can now bring them into your briefings. Enjoy.